Hello, Carrie Kids. I hope you're all doing well. I'm here to take you through this week's memory verse that comes from Romans chapter 15, verse 7. Let's look at the verse now. Accept one another, then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God. Romans chapter 15, verse 7. Through this verse, Paul encourages to accept one another and love one another, to give glory to God. If we are in the family of God, just like how Jesus loved us and accepted us, despite our sinful nature, we are called to love and accept others, no matter how they are. If we look at the people around us, or maybe our friends at school, they are not all the same. They might look different, some are really nice to us and some might be mean. Sometimes it's very hard to accept others based on what we see or what we hear. We sometimes tend to make judgments about other people. But the Bible says that it's not our job to judge. If we love God, we ought to love and accept other people as God wants us to. We need to practice putting others first. We need to be ready to help. We need to learn to be friends with everybody. Be nice and kind, even to the people who are mean. We all know that God alone is holy, yet He readily accepted every one of us. We are all created in the image of God, and we are called to accept others the same way. Of all the people, we should be the most gracious people. Of all the people, we should be the ones to extend, extend grace to others, to give love to others, because love is being given to us, and by doing so, we bring glory to God. As I mentioned earlier, it may not always be possible, but we can ask God's help to love and accept others with a warm heart. Shall we look at the verse again? Accept one another, then just as Christ accepted you in order to bring praise to God. Romans chapter 15 verse 7. I hope you all memorize this verse. Have a blessed week ahead. Bye.